Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a coolant change on the Mondale Mark III ST220. So I thought, well, whilst I've got the coolant out, I'm going to change the water pump, the thermostat, and whilst I'm at it, as I'm doing them, I might as well change the radiator as well. So you're going to see everything being done in this one video. So be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and let's crack on with this video. So first things first when you're removing the radiator is you need to remove the fans but before you do anything you need to get some cable ties as you can see what I've done here and support the radiator on both sides you can see I've done it over this side as well and then you'll start off by removing the two 10mm bolts there's one on this side here and there's the other 10mm bolt over here but first we're going to start off by disconnecting the wires you've got one here you push the tab in and slide it out push this tab up and it comes loose go along the wiring disconnecting any we we'll have to fix that by the looks of it so disconnect and pull apart here then you've got this loom here and that's all the wiring disconnected and then I'm going to start off on doing this 10 mil bolt here it doesn't matter where you start because you've got like it supported here on the actual radiator so get 10 mil sorry get 10 mil and just start on doing it one then get the one on top It's very difficult when you're trying to hold the camera with one hand so you can get these little shots like this because there's nowhere to support the camera with a stand. And then get back under the car and I should be able to lift this up and slide it down carefully being careful not to damage anything on on route with it so I'm just going to set the camera aside and try and get this down so I'm making sure everything's out of the way I'm going to lift it upward push up and hopefully it'll come down Being careful not to damage anything on the way. Just take your time with it. And that's the fan down. Okay, so that's the fans out of the way. To drain the system on here, there's no drain plug. So you have to disconnect this lower hose on this side here. It's held into place with like a little metal retraining clip. Mine's broken here, I've noticed. So I've, luckily for me, I've been and bought some, so I've got some to replace it. You've got to support the air condenser unit on the front of it for the air con. So I'll support that. Um, and then once I've got it all down, we're going to be replacing the water pump and the thermostat and then replacing all the fluid. So let's get the rest of it sorted out, shall we? Whilst I was off camera there for a split second, so it's like help, I got back underneath the car and I managed to, as you see, untangle all the wiring here and just pull it to the side so I've got a bit more room to manoeuvre. I've sprayed up, there's two 8mm bolts holding the condenser unit on at the front here and I've given them a spray with some penetrant fluid and I'm getting ready to, I've got a bucket here to lower you can see the cable here look it's running all over to the side there so that does help um, I'm getting ready to pop off this bottom hose here and get you a closer look that's so just here and then 
get the fluid out of the way, the coolant out of the way. So I'm going to try and pop this off now and see how we go with it. Okay, so that's the clip I was on about. I'm going to try and prise it out. Yes, it has snapped. However, see, but that I'm going to put the camera down and wiggle that off. Okay, so I had five minutes. I'll take my coat off because it's getting really hot out here. Here, I'm going to put this. I've used a screwdriver, and just at the top of it here. I've just got to open up a little dirt, but it moved then. So I'll pry bar back under there. Be wrenched. <laughs> oh, come on, effector. All right, I'm gonna stop the camera for a sec <laughs> and show the mess I've made. I'm soaked. Uh. Great for the comedy flat that one. I'm, but I'm gonna have to turn the camera off for a minute, have a quick tidy up. That popped off suddenly and gush all unbelievable. Done it though, didn't it? <laughs> so be one if you're doing this yourself, that hose, and potentially the one at the top as well, is under a bit of pressure, but you've got to just be careful with it because you don't want to break it, but it will come off. Let's get cleaned up. Look at this mess. Yep. Bucket of water. Camera's covered in water as well. Let's get cleaned up. Bring you back in a minute. Okay, so I've removed all the battery tray out of the way and everything to get to this top hose. There still might be some water in there. Give it a squeeze. Right. So here's the top hope clip. That that one. Let's get some screwdriver. Yeah, look, they're only small things. But like I said, I'll put links in the description for everything I use in all my videos. So, right, let's see if this one comes off easier than that bottom one. Don't look like it. I'm going to use a pry bar and just carefully. Wiggle it, there you go. There's a little bit of wall coming out of that, but not a lot. You can see there, look where the rust is from the old one. Alright, so that's the hose is disconnected. Next bit is the two 8mm bolts. I was chatting about on the conden air condensing unit so I'll give them a soak in some penetrant fluid let's get them off okay so I'm coming from the front because I've not got my actual grill in at the moment front panel here 
you can come from underneath. There's one 8mm bolt here and one in a similar place over here. Look, you can just see it there, right here. So to give you a better angle, a better view, I'll come under the car. That's the 8mm bolt we're removing. Like I said, it's had a soaking penetrant. So fingers crossed. come loose that's had about 45 minutes or so soaking in penetrant right before I go any further I'm going to get some cable ties and just cable tie through the bolt hole here and attach it to somewhere so it don't drop down when I do the other side. So I've got a cable tie. What I'm gonna do is there ain't many places to mount it. But if I remove this panel, this like little guard here, it'll release a hole and I can use that. So that's what I will do. I'm going to do this oatmeal. Hopefully, it comes off just as easy as the last one. So, there's one more clip. Give it one more try with the camera in my hand. Here you go. Actually, come off. Nice one. So all that's left now is to remove this cable tie here. It's just hooked around here. With the top hose went in and that's it i can lower the rad out from the bottom of the car it's still gripping a bit of coolant so i'm going to move the bucket anyway all right so you can see all this i've got my glasses on so i don't get coolant in my face lift up When you lower it, just be careful. There you go. Let that last little bit drain out. Be careful not to get the condenser. Oh. There it is, it's out. When it's left, move one, two. And that's it, completely out. So there's the new radiator. I've just got to cut it out of the box, get it ready to go back in. So I've got the new radiator all out. First things first, get these little bolts off the other one, put them into place. A bit fiddly, I'm trying to do it all with one hand. I'll put them back in and these rubber grommets, they sit on the top. 
one. Two. So I'm under the car ready to put the new red in. So let's crack on with it. Remember just to take your time with it. And cable ties I'll put up on the passenger side part of it. I'm using them just to support it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera so you can actually see a bit closer of what I'm doing here on this side. I've got the cable tie holding it up on this side here to support it. So now we're going to start putting the 8mm bolt in on the bottom from the air condenser. The first thing I'm going to do is cut this. And this side a bit easier and support it at the same time. Then do the other side. When you're doing this, remember you've got to make sure it's all lined up. Up the top is that the little hook bracket. And this Easier to put back than take out. So I don't know if you heard that as I was pushing it in, it did click. What you do is you get your little clips, your retraining. Strain, whatever you call the little pinch clips things go here i'm gonna go and grab them so i've just pulled the camera back a little bit so you can see exactly what i'm doing these are the little clips like i've said many times in the description i'll put links to everything i use little clip maybe pinch them together a little bit so it doesn't matter which way you go Go in the same way. But I'm just going to give them a little squeeze together. That's better. And that's in. So, so before you put this in, just give it a little pinch together and then over it a go. Let's do the top hose up here. We'll go from the top from there because once we've done that one, we're going to do the, the passenger side big hose as well. Let's get this hose in.
up and done. So as before, as before, I'm gonna just squeeze this together. Listen carefully, you'll hear this click into place. Let's get these cable ties out of the way. <laughs> That'd be a big help. Listen carefully, you'll hear it click. Like that. over the top of the bracket of the hose that's that Ooh. okay I need to get these cable ties back underneath and around the hose to hold it up now come back to you in a second and there's the radio back in what I'll do now, this one actually looks a lot thinner than the one, that, the original one that came out. You know, looks like half the size. But fits perfectly, so it must be right. That's all I can say. So all that's left now to put back into place is the fans. I think that's pretty much everything. And the 10 mil bolts that hold the fan in place have got to go back in. But I've got to, I'm have got. i going to order some new parts for that. Some new bolts. So, looking nice. That's looking alright so far. Don't know what you think. Oh, come out the sun. Get a light on. So, it's getting there. It's coming back together nicely. I'm just going to keep working at it. And um, this video is taking ages, taking it out. The, is the easy bit, believe it or not. Putting it back in is a bit more fiddly because it's all new, obviously. Um, but so far, so good. If you're still following along, hit that like. Help show YouTube this video is a good one. And uh, if you've not already done so, hit the subscribe button as well while you're at it. So show me your support for the channel and I'll keep going. <laughs> I'm going to keep going anyway. I'm enjoying it. So... Let's crack on with this. Let's go have a cup of tea and come back. So we're ready to put the fans back on. Get the best angle on the camera I can. We'll crack on. So the plan is lift the radiator up, hook it over the bracket here, and bracket just there, and then reattach the two 10mm bolts. Because I've got the one there, look. And the one over the top there. You can just about see it. It's a bit higher up just there. So I don't know where you can actually see what I'm doing. I've got the radio just behind my head. That is it back up. Put 10 mil bolts on. Fly. Again, the one from the top, get the wiring, get it all reconnected, and that is that job done. Let's get the wiring and get it all reconnected in the right place now. So, as best as I can, I'm going to reconnect all the wiring with one hand while holding the camera in the other. So, that's one. I might get some more clips to attach so it's it neat and tidy like this there is one little clip just here then another fan and 
then this black one goes to the aircon and then this blue one is the O2 sensor here so I sort that all out that got a clip onto there You need to be clipped back up here. Neat and tidy. Job done. So there you have it guys. The fan's back in, the rad's back in, the water pump's been changed, the thermostat's been changed, and all that's left is the coolant back in. So I'm gonna use some G12 coolant. This stuff's already mixed. Being very careful, start pouring in. If you've got a funnel, it does make things easier. In fact, I'll get a funnel. So I've got my funnel. Best be safe and sorry. Uh, the coolant on these cars, it's 9.7. So I've got two of these and they're 10 litres between them. So on the next one, I'm just gonna basically tip out 300 mil. So you'd get the 9.7. Right, I'm looking down here in the coolant, I'll show you. Um, and it's come up to the minimum. So I'm just going to go around the pipes and just pump them, see if I can pull some through before I start the engine, um, and we'll go from there. Right, so that's nearly five litres already in, and I know it's nowhere near full, despite it showing max on the on the reservoir here. So I think that what I've got to do now, start it, let some air come through, let it run around, and then just keep an eye on it because that's going to drop dramatically. Um, so, yeah, let me show you what it was like. So that's the coolant level on the minimum. The max is over the back. Let me turn another light on. Let's see if we can get a better view in. See the line here? Just down here, that's the max line. Just about to see it there. I've still got one more container of this to go over the back there, look. And like I said, it takes um, 9.7 litres of this. Start the engine up when it's ready. I'm still doing the subframe as well, so I've still got to put past the influence in it yet. So I'm doing it in bits. But once you've got it basically topped up, uh, you start the engine, let it run, keep an eye on that fluid level, because it will drop, and you just keep it topped up. What you're trying to do, just start it for three or four seconds, to get the water flowing around the system, checking for any leaks as you go, and um, yeah, we're getting somewhere. So it's been fun and quite wary doing two jobs in at one go. Um, I've been doing the radiator and coolant change and everything else whilst doing the subframe video as well, and months of other little jobs I've been doing around. So I'm gonna crack on with this and. Uh, We'll, carry on. we'll just carry on. Let's go for it.